Hello and welcome to Creative by Nature. My name is Donna. I am taking part in the Fall DIY Dollar Store Challenge, hosted by Sonia at the Domestic Diva DIY. Her channel link and the playlist are in the description box below. For my first DIY, I have this cute pumpkin sign from Dollar Tree. I am going to remove the raffia bow, and as you can see, a bit of the image lifted. I just touched it up with a bit of orange paint. I'm going to go over the lettering with some off-white paint as I don't want the glitter to be showing that much. If you had a paint pen, that would work better, but I'm just using what I have on hand. Once the lettering is all dry, I am going to go in and add some Distress ink around the edges. That will just give it a really nice rustic grungy feel and I love that look. You could use some stain or some like wax stain, whatever you have on hand. I have this beautiful thin birch bark that I am going to hot glue to the edge of this uh, beautiful sign. I love to add a touch of nature to my DIYs and I foraged this from the forest and I collected it off of the forest floor. I did not remove it from any trees. So I'm just going around and I'm adding um, some pieces and sections and I'm okay if it overlaps and hangs off of the edge. That just gives it that rustic look. I really like the look of the curls from the birch bark around the edge. I just think that adds a lot of texture and interest. And there you have a quick and easy way to add some beautiful rustic texture to a farmhouse sign. Okay, on to the next DIY. I have another sign from Dollar Tree and again, I'm going to be covering up the glittered letters with some craft paint. Now I will admit this did take me a while. So if you have a paint marker, I highly suggest that you use that. But again, I was just using what I had on hand. I again am going for a rustic farmhouse look and the glitter just was not going to work for me. Once the paint is all dry, I am now going to add this berry garland that I got from Dollar Tree. It's available in the fall section. I am just going to wrap it around that wreath image that you see on the sign and I'm using dabs of hot glue and I'm bending the wire in a more organic look. I'm going around the wreath image twice with the wire berry garland. It will just give it a bit more of a full look without covering up the image underneath. As you can see, that berry garland really gave it some interesting texture. But as always, I love to add a touch of nature to my decor. So I found these gnarled little branches out again while foraging in the forest. And I'm going to just glue those in around that wreath image. 
As you can see, I'm not completely covering up the image underneath. I want those colors popping up and through. Just add as many branches as you'd like and some grasses would be really pretty or a little bit of bark. Uh, just use your imagination. Okay, now I am going to go around the edge of this sign and I am going to add some straight branches and I'm just trimming it off here and there until it sits nice and flat to the image and I will adhere it using some hot glue. So trim the branches as needed and piece all your branches in and around as you see fit. I like how some of the pieces kind of bend and that there's little branches sticking out here and there. I'm leaving the jute twine in place so I have something to hang with and I'm just taking one branch and going right over top of the knots. I'm just adding a few smaller branches here and there in spots uh, where needed. And I'm also going in and adding some extra glue in and underneath some of the branches, just so I know that those branches stay in place really well. So you can get creative with this wreath any way you like. I absolutely love how this piece turned out. I love the rustic organic feel and it's kind of got that rustic farmhouse look to it. And I love that you can still see the image underneath. And I think this pumpkin sign turned out so cute. I love how the birch bark looks around the edge and I am so glad that I distressed the edges a bit. I would absolutely love to know which one is your favorite. I want to thank Sonia and my fellow creators, and I want to thank you all for being here. See you next time. Take care. Bye.